All right, and hi and welcome everybody. So welcome to our virtual college exploration for all North and South Carolina students. It's sponsored by CACRO or the Carolinas Association for Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. So just to go through a couple of housekeeping items, students, you can use our Q&A button to type your questions to the presenters at any time. You are muted and your microphone is turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you throughout the session. This is just one of the many college presentations that are being offered through CACRO, and you can check out the full schedule on our website at www.cacro.org. And there will be a recording video after this, so all sessions are being recorded and will also be available on our website at www.cacro.org. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to our presenters. Good morning, everyone. My name is Alexis. I'm one of the admissions counselors here. Um, and we're just gonna kind of do a quick little introduction and introduce everyone that we have with us today. Um, but I did just wanna give you all a reminder that if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop that in the chat. And then if you guys have any you know, screenshot or screen capture, feel free to do that on your phone or anything. If there's a slide that you want to in, uh, a little info, info later on. But other than that, like she said at the beginning that this will be recorded. But Brittany, you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> hey, everyone. My name is Brittany Sharon, and I am one of the uh, first year undergraduate counselors. I also serve as the, as the athletic liaison. Um, so I help our incoming student athletes bridge that gap. Um, and looking forward to answering questions and possibly having you at Columbia College. Good morning, y'all. My name is Maya Stevenson. I'm from Florence, South Carolina, and I am a current senior here at Columbia College. My major is communications with a concentration in public relations, and my minors are leadership and political science. On campus, I am on the judiciary board. I'm a place fellow, I'm a former writer on the Postscript. I'm a part of the communications club here and I am a Columbia College ambassador. Hey guys, I'm Mary Catherine Sanders. Um, I'm from Orangeburg, South Carolina. I'm a sophomore here at Columbia College. I'm a double major, so I am majoring in business and biology. I'm on the softball team here at Columbia College. And this past year, I was also an orientation leader or sorry, orientation leader for the freshmen that came in this year. And I'm also a CC ambassador. Um, so for those of uh, you that don't know, we are located super central in South Carolina, um, two hours from the beach or the mountains. So pretty, uh, pretty easy to get away for uh, a weekend if you need to, or when you're, you know, have a have a long weekend. Um, but we also have a lot of things to do right here in our own backyard. Uh, we have a Soda City Market that runs weekly. That's awesome. Um, there is a major Division One um, college in our back door, so you have access to Division One sports. Uh, including when they bring March Madness to us some years. And then we also have a lot of arts and entertainment um, in our back door too. So you get the, the small class sizes with, uh, with lots, lots and lots of things to do. So next we do want to highlight some of our majors and programs. Uh, we do have five, or excuse me, athletic divisions. We have five. <laughs> We have five academic divisions um, varying across the arts and humanities, health sciences, business, social sciences, and education. Um, I would say our top three most popular divisions would fall between education, business, and then anything in the health sciences. We have a fairly new nursing program that's very popular. Um, and we partnered with Midlands Tech and a lot of students love that simply because Midlands Tech is known very well in the state for their nursing program. They have a two-year wait list, so those students can get their bachelor's degree and their associate's degree, so you'll get two degrees with us. Um, education, we are actually only one of two institutions in the state of South Carolina to have speech-language pathology, and then overall we started out as a teacher's college, so once again education is just one of our strong suits, and then business is just a very po uh, popular major that we do have, um, division all around, simply because business, I mean, who doesn't love making the money and getting to dive in. And you do have an option to get a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Science. But other than that, overall, our, all of our programs are great. 
average class size is about 11 to one. So you get that one-on-one -on -one with your professors in all your divisions and you're able to really dive into that degree. Uh, so one of the kind of the best things about Columbia College is that we offer uh, a private school education at a public school price. Um, so currently our tuition for the year is $19,890. Um, room and board for our first year students is $8,300. And what that includes is you'll, um, you'll have a roommate and then you'll get 19 meals a week. So that's three meals a day. Uh, Monday through Friday, and then two meals a day, Saturday and Sunday. We also have um, a technology and resource fee that's $400 a semester or $800 a year. And that fee includes all different things, including your books. Um, so what we've tried to do is wrap a, a, as much as we can um, into the financial aid piece um, to help keep out of pocket costs low. Um, so you're looking roughly at a total of uh, $28,990 for the year. Um, and there are other fees, you, you know, if you have a science class, there could be lab fees. So there may be other, other things included, but it's on a case by case basis. And we're finding that our average students really spend less than $3,000 per year out of pocket. Uh, we have scholarship opportunities all the time. Um, we do award academic scholarships based on your GPA at time of admission. Um, and so if you have questions about that, feel free to drop that in the Q&A box and we can get those answered. Um, and we also do um, a one kind of one day event called Scholars Day. And this year it'll be on February 6, 2021. Um, and there's a pretty easy application online. And so you'll submit your application for that. Um, and then uh, you will come in and you'll meet with your admissions counselor and we'll do a couple of interviews uh, and find out if there's potential to, some, to award you some more scholarship based on that. Uh, we do uh, also require the SAFSA, which opens this uh, Thursday, October 1st. So the sooner you get that in, the sooner we can get you packaged. And right now we're looking at the first week of November for those initial packages to go out. So go ahead and get that done. Um, and we can also pop in the, the, the chat box or send you a link later on with our FAFSA code. So now we kind of get a little bit to the fun stuff, just a tad, um, but just kind of walking you guys through the application process. So of course, first thing you want to do is apply um, and you can do that as you can see on the screen, that's our homepage. And in the top right hand corner, you'll see a little button that says apply. Um, you can just click that and just follow the prompts. It'll take you to a registration screen, um, but you'll want to apply as a first year undergraduate student. Um, don't do the graduate application, but the undergrad application, make sure you do that one. Um, once you have submitted it, you don't have to worry about paying a fee or anything. So it is a free application. We also accept Common App as well. And once you have submitted that application, an admissions counselor, so either myself or Brittany will reach out to you, probably via email or a text message. And we will just let you know that we have your application and kind of walk you through that process a little bit more. Make sure you send in all those transcripts if you have any. And once you get your transcripts in, and if you have if you're interested in nursing, that application process is a little bit different. Um, I can talk about that in a second. But once we get your transcript in and any optional supplemental documents, then you will have an admissions decision within 24 to 72 hours via email. Um, so you we do move fairly quickly here. Um, and we also have a paper, like physical copy that will get sent out in the mail. So don't worry about if you miss the electronic version, there will be something that comes in the mail for you. Um, like I said, nursing students is a little bit different. So for nursing, we do require SAT and ACT scores. That is the only program that we require scores for. Other than that, we are test optional. Um, we are also rolling admissions. So that basically means that we will take students all the way up until the first day of classes. But of course, we don't encourage that because we want you to get situated and financial aid and everything. So make sure you apply as soon as possible. And that way, too, we can walk you through that financial aid process that Brittany just went over. Um, but other than that, if you guys have any questions, then your admissions counselor will definitely be able to serve you and get those questions answered. 
And I think now, oh, sorry. Yep. Athletics. Go ahead, Brittany. Sorry. No, it's all good. Um, so we currently have 10 women's sports. Um, we compete in the NAIA um, division with the AAC conference, which basically just means we're part of the largest conference. Um, in the NAIA, which is kind of uh, cool. We are eight time um, recipients of the Champions of Character Award for the NAIA, which basically means that um, our coaches are teaching great sportsmanship, great character on and off the field. Um, you come out uh, as an athlete, not not just an athlete, but a well-rounded student and human being because you're learning, you're learning stuff on and off the field that directly relate to um, classes and how to conduct yourselves um, appropriately. And then we are excited to announce that we're launching four men's teams this fall, um, cross country, golf, soccer, track and field. So if there's anything on that list that you're potentially interested, go ahead and let me know and I'll help you make the connection with, um, with the appropriate coach. That's, that's what I'm here for. Um, and so it's one of those that we, a third of our student body is um, our athletes. So there are a lot of them on campus. And uh, when we get there, you can also feel free to ask uh, Mary Catherine some questions as well about what it's like to be a student athlete on campus. So on campus, there are lots of things to do and there are lots of different activities you can get involved in. For example, I'm a PLACE fellow. PLACE stands for Philanthropy, Leadership, and Community Engagement. So in our club, we just go out in the Columbia, the Columbia area, just providing community service, relief, and support wherever we can. Along with community service, we also have career development opportunities in the form of two internships and different courses and conferences you can go to. Yeah, and also with more campus life, we also have athletics, <laughs> just saying. Um, so I'm an athlete. It's very, very, very nice to be an athlete here. Um, you're going to you're not going to get special treatment or anything, but you're definitely going to get that one on one um, with your coach. It's, they're going to help you with everything. And then you're also going to get one on one with your teachers, regardless of if you're an athlete or not. We have 11 to one student ratio. So that's a big, big like yes for me. Um, and then we also have suite dorms. So that just means that you're gonna have a roommate that you'll share a room with, and then you'll have suite mates that you share a bathroom with. So it'll be two people, two people in a bathroom all together for four people. Along with that, we have an amazing career counseling service where you're able to go in and not only get resume help, but interview help. And they also help you with dress. And along with that, we have our all you can eat dining hall. And I know MC loves Wednesday, which is fried chicken Wednesday, but they are just so accommodating and so great. Tons of options and the staff is phenomenal. Oh, yeah, they very are. And we also have an honors program. So anytime that like you have like a really high GPA, you know, if you're like really good, like straight A's, all that kind of stuff, the honors program is there for you. And also with scholarships based on your GPA, you can um, get a certain amount of a scholarship based on your GPA. And we also have, I believe, an honors scholarship also, if you have the highest GPA. And the Columbia College Police Department is so engaged. They're so kind. They're always there when you need them. And they're always around campus surveilling. So it's just so safe here. Yes. And we also have accessibility services. So anytime, like you, if you have like a little bit of like an ADHD or like you, you need some more time on a test or anything, anything like that, um, we do have that service here where we're going to like make sure that you are getting your one-on-one -on -one and you're going to be able to take a test. You're going to be able to study all that kind of stuff because we're not here to just make you fail. We're here to make sure that you get a degree and that you go out into the world and do what you wanna do. The Center for Leadership and Social Change is a program and place here and they offer tons of events that you can get to know other students. And it also just educates you to bigger issues in the world. And lastly, there is the honors program filled with amazing professors, amazing opportunities. Thanks guys. So I think we're kind of wrapping up here a little bit, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to, like I said, drop them in the chat or anything. Um, but if you guys don't have any questions, um, our contact information is on the last slide and feel free again to screenshot this or take a photo with your camera on your phone or something like that. 
Um, but feel free to reach out to either me or Brittany, or if you want to reach out to one of the students and kind of get a little bit more of a student perspective, feel free. We definitely encourage you guys talking to the students because that's who we know you guys want to hear from more so than us, which is perfectly fine. Um, but know that we are here to help you guys and kind of walk you guys through that process. Um, we actually just had one question come through. So do you have any information on track and field? Brittany, would you like to answer that one? Yeah, I sure can. Um, so we we have a highly competitive track and field team. Um, they're ranked pretty high in our conference. They're actually in the middle of uh, competing right now. Um, so, you know, if, if you want to shoot me your contact information, I can definitely get you in touch with Coach Bishop um, and Coach uh, Andre and, and make that connection for you um, so that they can really answer super specific questions that you might have. If, so if you want to go ahead um, and you can send me an email, um, just give me um, give me your uh, first name, last name, and then the best way to get a hold of you, email and phone number are great. Um, and we can, um, I'll definitely make sure that you um, make that connection. So um, someone asked, how well would you say the dance program is? You want me to go ahead and answer that one? Perfect. Um, so our dance program is pretty great. Um, we actually have, um, we have organizations in the community all the time that are just waiting for our dance um, our dance program students to graduate um, to get them out in the in the job market, um, whether it's teaching um, at a studio, opening a studio, um, teaching in uh, in educational environment, so elementary, middle, high school. Um, but no, ma no matter what, you're going to be well supported um, in that program in particular. You're going to be great. Um, you're going to make some great connections and, and do really well post graduation as well. Um, and I will say that it's more of a contemporary focus. Um, it is not, it is not ballet based at all. I think to Brittany, correct me if I'm wrong, I would always hear that our dance program has pretty much like 100% job placement. We have people typically calling us for more dancers. Um, if it's not 100, I would say probably 99.9%. .9%, and that's probably because someone goes off to graduate school. Um, but other than that, I've always heard our dance program is fairly competitive and a lot of students are very successful in that as well. And I think there yeah, are dance scholarships too, so. Yes, there are. Um, and so there is actually no audition required for that program. Um, the audition comes when you would like a scholarship. Um, so again, if you get accepted to Columbia College and want to be a dance student, um, you can you can definitely do that. And that's just because we want to give everyone equal access to the program. And you don't know what your potential is until you try. So um, that's kind of the way that that is set up as well. Thanks, Brittany. Um, thank you, Maya and MC. Are there any other questions at all? And if you guys can't think of any questions, I know you typically kind of get put on the spot, so you don't really know what to ask. Um, but feel free, again, like I always say, feel free to reach out to us either one on one. Um, the phone numbers that are on the screen, those are to our direct office line. And then, of course, that is our direct email. So if you guys feel free again, want to reach out or talk a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, set up a virtual visit or a campus tour. Um, we definitely encourage that. So then that way you can come onto campus, see it. Uh, we are doing campus visits right now with COVID guidelines. So students and their families and whoever you bring guests are required to wear masks. And then of course we do ask that you fill out our COVID form that is on our website, but you can go onto our homepage and select a campus visit. But if there are no more questions, I think we will kind of head out for closing here. Is, unless anyone wants to add anything else, feel free. <laughs> I don't have.
have anything. We were just, you know, like Alexa said, we're we're doing campus visits daily, so we would yeah. love to see you um, face to face and have a conversation and show you around and and let you connect with students on campus. And I would like to also add, um, when you do come on a campus tour, we also the people who give tours, me and Maya are people who give tours. Um, you can also have a tour with an athlete and with a non-athlete, or you can have two athletes or two non-athletes, whatever you kind of are thinking about. So if you're an athlete and you want to get an athlete perspective, we have people here who can give you a tour on that and kind of let you know, you know, this is how it is for athletes and all that kind of stuff. Well, thank you guys for all joining us and hopefully we can see all of you guys on a campus visit soon. Um, and then hopefully we can meet you guys face to face in person rather than over Zoom. But thanks for joining us. Um, like I said, I always say feel free to reach out to us if you guys have any questions or anything, but it's always good to see prospective students and their families come on campus. But other than that, we will wait just for the closeout and hope to see you guys soon. Have a good afternoon, guys. All right, and thank you all so much for joining us. A huge thank you to our presenters and thank you for joining us for your virtual college exploration. And so our next, All right, so your next steps for the students is that you will see a quick window that's gonna pop up after I close out this meeting. It's gonna have a brief four question survey. If you can please provide us with any feedback, that would be great. You can also sign up for any other sessions that you're interested in um, by checking out the full schedule at www.cacro.org. So C-A-C-R-A-O.org. And then as we mentioned, this recording will be available and all other sessions are also being recorded and available on our website. All right, and thank you so much. We really appreciate it.